How's it going, Chicago? Rick Batista here with another monthly market update, bringing you information for November 2022. The data is provided by the Chicago Association of Realtors. Welcome to another local market update with Rick Batista on new listings, Rick Batista on closed sales, Rick Batista on median sales price, Rick Batista on percent of original list price received, Rick Batista on market time, and Rick Batista on inventory of homes for sale. Before we dive into the numbers, let's share some fun facts. Fun facts, fun facts, market time. So this week's fun facts covers the real estate market at a national level. Housing affordability continues to be a major roadblock for market participants with mortgage rates more than double compared to this time last year. Buyers are delaying home purchases in hopes rates will drop, while many sellers are holding off on listing their homes due to weakening buyer demand. Unwilling to trade in their current lower rates for significantly higher borrowing rates on their next property. As a result, existing home and pending home sales have continued to slow as we move into winter. Well, that certainly may be true at a national level and overall. Throughout our own local market and in our own experience, we're seeing uh, if properties are in a desirable area, uh, they're a good opportunity, whether it's to live in or invest in, and most importantly, if it's priced right, uh, things even in the start of winter are moving pretty quickly. So we'll have to wait and see how the rest of the winter plays out. With home sales down, nationwide housing inventory was at a 3.3 month supply heading into November, up from 2.4 months from this time last year, according to the National Association of Realtors. Although buyers have more options to choose from, home prices remain high and soaring borrowing costs have caused monthly payments to increase significantly, with the average home buyer paying 77% more on their loan per month compared to the same period a year ago, according to Realtor.com. Please keep in mind that your situation is your situation. Whether you're a first time or an existing homeowner, rates are still historically low. If you have to make a move, plain and simple, you have to make a move. We don't know exactly when it may happen. Uh, but sometime down the line, the rates are likely bound to go down. You'll be able to refinance and be in a better position. Now, diving into the local numbers, uh, a few quick facts here before we break it down. And please keep in mind that this is for the data covers the 77 areas of Chicago and residential property only. We're not covering uh, multi-unit, multi-family, mixed-use, commercial property, just residential. One-year change in closed sales of all properties, residential, was down by 36%. The change in homes for sale was down by nearly 16%, and the change in median sales price down by 6.7%. Now, before I unravel November's numbers, I wanted to cover a report that I covered last month, uh, the lender-mediated report. And when a property is uh, designated as a lender-mediated property uh, that is covering foreclosures, REOs, pre-foreclosure, short sales, and all the people uh, within the real estate industry, or are, are, are perhaps even outside of the real estate industry, are anticipating that these opportunities are going to be becoming more readily available in the future. Uh, as of right now, they don't seem to be much of a threat, uh, but let's cover it anyway. Share of closed sales that were lender mediated in November 2022 was only 2.4% of the market. Uh, to give you an idea of how that's been trending, October was 1.7 and September was 2.2. So I would say with, uh, with doing some quick math uh, on average, right around 2% for the last three months. To unpack that a little bit more, uh, to have some clarification, uh, closed sales in November of 2021, so we're comparing uh, year over year, uh, closed sales in November 2021 uh, for REOs was 16, uh, this past November was 27, so that was a year over year change uh, increase of 68.8%, and short sales for last year was 9, where this year was 10, so even though it was a, a difference of 1, Percentage-wise, it was up by 11.1%. So certainly higher than last year, uh, but let's put that in perspective. Last year was pretty nutty. The way things were flying off the shelves, everybody had a ton of equity. So when everybody's swimming in a pool of equity, whether, whether it's locally or nationally, under-mediated sales are most likely going to be done. Also, to give you an idea of pricing of these homes, uh, median sales price for an REO property uh, last year, November 2021, was 132106 while this past November was just under 100000 at 99.5K, uh, down by 24.7%. Short sales last year, 105K, this year, 132.5, uh, and then there was an increase of 26.2%. 
Now to cover what's been going on throughout the entire city of Chicago, uh, please keep in mind that for this video, I'll just be covering detached single family homes. Um, if you'd love information and data about attached, you live in a condo or townhome or thinking of moving into a condo or townhome, I'd be more than happy to share that information with you. Just send us a message or reach out to us in the comments below. So again, this is for residential activity only, and the data is current as of December 14th this year, uh, covering November 2022. New listings were down by 20.8%, closed sales down by 36%, and inventory of homes, you guessed it, down by 15.9%. For new listings, we had 1,222 detached single-family homes hitting the market throughout the Chicago, down by 11.1% year-over-year, and year-to-date, we've had 18,800 hit the market, uh, up by 2.4% year-over-year. Closed sales, 776 closed sales in November, down by 30.6% year-over-year and 9,678 for the year, down by 8.4 compared to 2021. Properties that were under contract and those were either flagged as contingent uh, where they've accepted an offer or pending, which typically means that they have a clear to close uh, and things are ready to rock and roll to the closing table. Uh, detached single family homes saw 578 in November, down by just under 36% year over year. The median sales price for a single-family detached home in Chicago was $288,326, down by 7% year-over-year. And year-to-date, we saw a median sales price of three eighteen, dollars which was up by 0.3% year-over-year. The average sales price for a detached single-family home in the city of Chicago was three eighty nine four eighty nine. dollars That's interesting. Uh, in November, down by 10%. The average for the last 12 months was 473.9, up by 2.1%. And please keep in mind that the average sales price is for the closed sales price. It doesn't account for seller concessions like closing credits. So likely that number is just a little bit less. Percent of original list price received, 95.2% for detached single family home in Chicago, down by 2.5% year over year. Year to date, higher at 97.9% and down just by 1%. For market time, a detached single-family home in the city of Chicago sat on the market for about 66 days, up by 44.3% year-over-year, and year-to-date was less at 52, uh, down by 1.9% year-over-year. For inventory of homes for sale, uh, and first let's get a better understanding, uh, invent when they calculate inventory of homes for sale, this is the inventory of homes uh, for sale at the end of a given month, divided by the average monthly pending sales from the last 12 months. Uh, we wrapped up the month with 2,699, which was up by 6.6% year over year. So we do cover Chicago, Chicago land, all the surrounding suburbs, as I always tell clients and potential clients. We're licensed in the state of Illinois. But due to all the amazing clients that we service or have serviced in the past, and all the wonderful referrals that have come our way, uh, there tends to be uh, certain areas that we have a little bit more of a focus on. And some of those areas within those areas uh, tend to be a little... A little bit more desirable than others. Uh, this is a section that I like to call Muy Caliente and give a shout out to the areas that have been doing uh, really well both in November, even when the market has begun to slow down, and especially throughout the year. First one that's been Muy Caliente is North Park, a desirable area. In November they had five closed sales with a percent of original list price received, 95.7%. I would say that the percent of original list price received uh, is a great indicator as to whether or not buyers are, are flocking to that area or are willing to uh, invest and, and purchase in that in that area. Year to date, they've had 59 with a uh, percent of original list price received of 98.7. Avondale, six sales in November uh, at 99.9%. And year to date, 102, 98.7%. Lakeview, my old stomping grounds. A close sales with 97%, year to date 159 and 90.9%. Lincoln Square, not just a fun area to hang out in, but also a great area to buy in. Uh, five close sales with 94.9% uh, being the percent of original list price received, 128 for the year at 99%. Jefferson Park with 12 sales, 96.9% uh, .9 in November, and year to date 221 at 99.2%. Logan Square, right by our home office. Nine closed sales for November at 94.3%. A little less, but they made the Muy Caliente list because their year-to-date is 224, 99.3%. Albany Park, just off of Lincoln Square. 11 closed sales in November, 96.1%. Year-to-date, 126, 
Irving Park, 20 close sales for November, 98.1%, and 280 close sales for the year, 99.8%. North Center, 13 close sales in November, 98.6%, and year to date, 196 at 99.8%. And wrapping it up, Edgewater, even though they had the fewest amount of sales in this list, they wrapped up the month of November with four close sales at 102.4%. Go Edgewater. Close sales at 66 for the year at 99.8%. Now let's take a look at what's happening in your neck of the woods. Feel free to reach out to us in the many ways that you can, call, text, email. We'll be more than happy to share these reports with you. That wraps up our monthly market update for November 2022. Thank you so much for joining us. What does this data and information mean to you? I don't know. Depends where you're living and where you are in life. And cover any specific data that you may need to make the best decision, whether you're looking to buy or sell. Thank you so much for joining us. I truly appreciate your time. Enjoy the rest of your week and we'll catch you next month. Take care.